we've got an exponential function, kind of. It's like a polynomial raised to a degree. Expanded in term and the combining the resulting will be arranged in powers of x. Uh, this is like a Pascal's triangle thing. After these steps are done, the second term will be 8x cubed. What will be the total number of terms? Yeah, if you know Pascal's triangle, like off the top of your head, this is an easy question. Um, I don't. <laughs> I don't know the, the triangle because I don't teach that every day. It's just I, I recognized it here real quick um, because this is like textbook Pascal's triangle question. Um, Unfortunately, it's not something that I, I have memorized. One, 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 two, one. Yeah, uh, these are the coefficients to the power. So this is um, x to the power of zero, x to the first, x squared, x cubed, three, three, one. And you, to get this, you just add. You start with one and they expand it. The, memorize the first three rows. And then to get the next row, you add these terms. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. And that's how you can continue to expand. Because the second term has a cubed value here. Um, let's see. Uh, that means that uh, this is going to be uh, x to the n, y to the um, I forget exactly the rule, but I just know that the first term is x to the n, and then it descends from there. So if the second term is to the third, I know we're in the fourth power, uh, because the first term will be x to the fourth, and then the next one will be x cubed. And then your powers of y increase from 0 to n. Uh, so x to the fourth is going to be 1, 4, 6, or 1. So we're here, and that's x to the fourth. And so the total number of terms, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms. Hey, I remembered Pascal's triangle. I honestly don't know how else you would do that. Um, yeah, just looking at what's given here, I do not know any other method than like maybe guess and check, which is not great. 